Zen and Jeepster, what's up? How you guys doing? Is Biven Hola! Tully, what's up, man? As long as it's coming in clear, it's all I care about. Do some virtual plane air today. Virtual plane air. It's been a long time, to be honest. I don't know which one to do. I picked a couple ahead of time. Just, I don't know. They look okay. We'll see. I'm not going to imp improvise a whole lot tonight. Just just relax and do do a couple of these. Focus on some of the design elements that I find interesting. Did I finish the baby butt one? No. Uh, that painting is in flux. We'll see. I didn't have any... I probably would have worked on it last weekend, but I was out of town last weekend. So... Um, so, no. I need... There's... Before I can kind of stream... Because I, I do want to stream the conclusion of that one. Uh, it has changed a bunch, but... I need to make some big decisions first, and I really don't want to spend time like waffling over ideas on the stream. I'd I'd rather on the stream like I have a clear clear idea of what I want to do, and then I can just finish it there, so, you know, just in front of all you guys. But uh, yeah, there's just some decision making I have to do for it. I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys with that kind of stuff. Plus, it's hard for me to use all of my, like a lot of my brain while I'm doing this. Um, virtual plane air stuff is very easy for me to do uh, on stream because I don't, it doesn't require a whole lot of brain power. Did I see the eclipse? I, from where I, I'm at in Southern California, it was about 56% coverage. So I didn't really get to see totality. A total eclipse, but in what is it 2024? There's another one that's going to be coming by, and the path of totality is going to go right across my hometown uh, where I grew up in Cleveland. 
So, so basically Cleveland is one of the major cities that's going to be right in its path, so I'm pretty stoked for that. I'll definitely check that one out, but I did not see uh, the last one. Uh, I went outside and we had Eclipse glasses and I got to look at it and you can see the shadows are really cool. Um, but that's about it. Did anyone else go see... Did anyone else see the totality? Like, the real deal? That was last week's Monday. So over a week ago, that's when it happened. Jamal, how you doing? Hey man, I stream. I try to stream every Wednesday, every Wednesday night, even if it's for a shorter time, even if it's just a virtual plane air. I try to hang out with you guys at least once a week. I figure if I'm only going to do it one day a week, I better stay damn consistent unless I really cannot do it. Right? Because I, I, I feel like the minute, you know, the one week I don't do it, no one will just, no one will come back. No one will return. <laughs> Zen and Jeepster will find someone else for Wednesday night. And that's it. Without them, the stream fails. And you too, Jamal. It's good to see you in here every week. You got 90% in Colorado? Oh, that's awesome. Should I do a virtual plane art thingy too? Yeah, you should. Indie game fan art. I don't think that was specific not. I feel like it could have been more specific. <laughs> I didn't see if anyone did it. I should check the Discord. I'll take a look at that towards the end. You know, I'm going to start a timer. I kind of want to keep these under a certain amount of time. Timer. Let's do that. Let's start it. Wait. Not a timer. Uh, we'll just do stopwatch. Yeah, there we go. I got to limit myself somehow, right? You know what I should do?
Let me get a pallet down first, and then I'll, I'll use the triangles. That'll kind of help speed things up a little bit. You were talking about those before the stream? Okay, is the music coming in clear today? Is, or is it still kind of messed up? Hopefully it's not. I know one said anything yet, so I'm assuming it's not messed up, but... Y'all can hear it. did a cool cartoony graphic style. Yeah, I want to check that out. I'm excited to see what you guys have. Probably some cool shit. Shape hacks. Share the plane air location. Yeah, I can do that. Let's see there. There. What? God damn it. <laughs> it won't. Well, I got to log in to. Twitch? Wait, I've already logged into Twitch. Log into Twitch chat through Facebook. It's not letting me post. Oh my god, really? Alright, I'm going to put it in the Discord. How about that? It's not letting me paste a link in there. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's going to Discord. I'm just throwing it in general. There you go, okay. Yep, map map crunch is pretty cool. 
That's what I use to find some random, some random street views. How do you get some prints? I don't have a store right now. Adam Harris, what's up? I do not have a store set up yet, but I plan to whenever I find time to do so. Map crunch looks kind of boring. Wow. There's always something interesting to find in there. Journey it into awesomeness. Just always add a dragon. I agree. Just put a dragon on it.
you only went to Japan. Japan's like... Japan's pretty cool. There's a lot of good spots in Japan. Mr. Craig Mullins, yeah, that's right. There's actually another game, I forgot what it's called, but it uses uh, Street View. It just drops you randomly somewhere in Street View, and then you gotta point out on a map of the world where you think you are, and you get you get points based on how, how close your guess is. I forgot the name of it, maybe you guys know. It's fun, I like that game, it's pretty cool. It's kind of silly, but it works. Poseidon Art! Thanks for the host! With one viewers! Thank you. I'll take all that I can get, right?
Uh, you feel like it takes 10 minutes to find a decent view? Well, there's in the options, there are modifiers. If you're looking for something like uh, indoor or something, uh, something in a city, urban, um, you can put those modifiers in there. Uh, also, just maybe don't be so picky. You know, you're not going to find the perfect thing. You need to find uh, something unexpected, something you weren't uh, thinking about. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is just having the eye to see something in the mundane. You know, take something quote unquote not exciting and try to find something exciting about it. Maybe it's something about the lighting that's interesting to you. I don't know. You just got to pick around, and, 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 and but don't be picky, right? Goodbye, Ahmed. Have a good night, day, whatever it is.
trying to build some texture with these triangles. Some directionality with them. Putting sick man in Terraria. You should give him a dragon. That's the real test. There's dragons in Terraria, right? Shouldn't be hard. Very quiet today. It's cool. So you're finding doing the uh, plain air kind of helps you loosen up? That's why I like it. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of relaxing, I guess. Nothing is nothing is totally relaxing when you're streaming though. You'd think by twenty six streams I would get used to it. It's still a bit odd for me to do this.
Yeah, that's good everyone's helping each other out. That's... That's really good. Miguel, how you doing? Grinding on the character design? Well, that's cool, man. Good luck with that. I'll see it on the Instagram. Hopefully. You're submitting to the challenge, Sean. Sean Paints, the two time art challenge winner. Will he be able to take his title back against Tully the Great? Capacitance. We're enjoying the scenery. Who's we? Is that are you with people? Or are you referring to the 
royal we, as in everyone here. Ah, uh, it's quiet because you're enjoying the scenery. Thank you. Uh, it's nothing too exciting this week. Just this stuff. It's fun. What can I say? It's, uh, it's not... Probably old hat for you guys who return. Who've, who've been uh, returning. Because, you know, I, I did this... I did virtual plane airs pretty consistently for a little while, and then I stopped for a long time, so... Bit of a return. Sissy Prince! Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Avery Park. Well, thanks for tuning in, and you're welcome. I try to do these regularly, regularly, even if they're simple or quick. Oh, it's 6 a.m. in Poland right now. Oh, no. You're going to bed after all-night drawing session? Well, wow, that's awesome. I understand. It's, you know, this time is not friendly to everybody. But thanks for watching anyways. I'm assuming you watch them on YouTube later. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, find things that are interesting to me about this.
Let me say the best way to find the right color for a piece of artwork. <clears throat> if you're working without reference. Uh, if you're having trouble finding color without reference, I think the without reference part is what's giving you trouble. I think you should look at reference. I think reference is a good way to sort of figure out what you want. If you really aren't using reference, then pick a, a warm color and a cool color and start there. And um, an accent color, maybe. Do I study weather patterns? Mm, no. <laughs> well, that's a strange question. Like, if I want to put weather in a painting, how much research do I do? And like, like how the clouds should look or something? No, I don't really think about that. I just think about like what looks cool, or if I find a piece of reference that's cool, then I follow that. I don't really study the weather. When I was little though, I saw that movie Twister, and I wanted to be a storm chaser. I thought that would have been a cool job. <laughs> Other than that, I have no experience with that. And I've seen like five tornadoes in my life. I don't know, maybe four. I've seen a bunch. If you include water spouts, probably like six. I've, I've seen a, a three water spouts. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. get earthquakes. Yeah, I grew up in the Midwest, so there was tornadoes there. Ever since I've been in California, though, I've never felt an earthquake, and I feel like I'm missing out. I want an earthquake. I don't want it to hurt anybody. I don't want any, like, real destruction. I just want to feel it. That'd be super cool. Actually, we're due for a really big earthquake. I think it's about time I start moving on. 
I didn't uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. Consider it a, like a warm up. Basically, what it is. Lack of stick, man. Well, I'm, I'm sticking to the script of what I'm seeing here on uh, the plain air, uh, the, the Google Street View thing. So I don't think I'll be adding a stick, man. Unless I go back into this later and play around with it. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that. This was just kind of a warm up. I was gone all last weekend so honestly the last time I did artwork at home was the last stream otherwise I've just been doing work uh, artwork uh, at work or doing like sketches and stuff on paper because <laughs> um, I was out out of town last weekend so I'm trying to remember, get comfortable with my home setup. Because it's been a week. Usually, that usually never happens. But you get busy. Looks as good as normal to me. Well, that, hey, you know what? I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'll take it. about making another one right here. Why the hell not?
Oh yeah. Way more interesting than the ref. Mm. Well, I didn't want to let you down. <laughs> I don't know. I I just try to not be picky with these and try to find something interesting about the space. Uh, and try to keep myself open, keep my mind open to new, uh, new, I new ideas, new kind of composition, new color, new technique, loosen up, use different brushes, use custom shapes, use lasso tool, you know, remember my tools. I think that's important. That's also why I do these sometimes, just to, just kind of as a way to loosen up. I did have a busy week, didn't I, last week? This past week. I did a lot. I did a lot of not work, not artwork. This, at least not personal artwork. Of course, I have my job. It's rare. I, I do spend some weekends just pretty much staying at home and doing artwork. <laughs> I still do that. But once in a while you gotta get out and enjoy life. Go explore. Go meet people. Remember what it's like to communicate to other humans. Rush, hello. man riding an alpaca. It's a good idea. Just to make you happy. Ready for action.
How do you get good edges? Uh, look at look at some masterworks and do what they do. That's pretty much that's pretty much all I've ever done. I just looked at Sargent or Anders Orn and said, wow, that edge is fuzzy. Why did they do that? Not just them, but a lot of artists, you know, figure painters, portrait painters. Um, I tend to look at, I tend to look at them when I think about edges. So you know what edges look good, but you just not sure how to achieve that. I think you just gotta let edges go. You have to just not care. Don't force it. If I want to let go of an edge, I just paint it brushy and don't worry about it. Seems silly to just say it like that, but that, that is that is really all it is. Some edges are sharp, some edges are soft. And maybe you don't have enough sharp edges to complement the fuzzy edges, so there's that too. It's a balance. Like, I want this edge to be soft. I literally just paint it in soft. Just kind of let it go. That's it. You got to look at it in the context of a whole. And not, the, not whether or not that edge looks good, but how does it look as a whole, as a painting as a whole. So I use the triangle, I use shapes, and I use lasso tool to get real sharp edges or hard brush. And those are in certain areas, and then I, a lot of it is kind of brushy off to the edge, off to the edge of the painting. 
so that the focus is in specifically the area I want it to be in. simple. Kinda stopped using. I did for a little bit use smudge to get edges, but I'm kind of not doing that anymore. I don't want it to look photographic. I want it to look like a painting. So I use just the paintbrush to get the edges in. share the new one here. I'm going to put it in the Discord because that's easier. So y'all can see. Compositionally, I'm still not really sure how I want to do it. Yeah, Sean, I, I, yeah, it's like, it's a hard thing to really say, uh, definitively. If it's the application of the paint, like, to, to make it, to control your edges, it's just that balance of sharp edge and, and soft edge, and that's it. I think it's just like about keeping that balanced and thinking about focus. out my composition by just creating solid shapes and sliding them around. And what is it about this that I like?
seems like composition is a nightmare. Nah, it's kind of my most, it's my favorite part, honestly. Like, like a composition alone can get me excited to finish a painting or even start one. Lock everything up. I think I may just go for this. What does locking do? It locks the transparency. So you select a layer and hit this. These are different lock options. This will lock the layer, you can't touch it at all. This will lock it so you can't crop it. This will lock it so you can't move it. This will lock it so you can't paint on it. And this will lock the transparency so that if I paint anywhere on this layer, it'll be only where there are pixels existing. So it just locks the pixels. If I don't have a lock on, then I'm painting all over the layer. So, just lock it. If I'm happy with the design, but, you know, the graphic shapes, I can just lock it up. At least for the time being, lock it up. There's, uh, they are specific. The only ones I'll ever use is sometimes lock the whole layer up and lock the transparency and make it so I can't move it, but I don't really use that that much either. You can just hit the question mark key. That's the hotkey to lock the transparency. That's probably the most commonly used one.
Do I use the Wacom Art Pen? I'm not sure what you mean. The Wacom Art Pen, is that the, the Scribble? Wacom Scribble? I don't use that. The only thing I use from Wacom is just the Cintiq. Cintiq 22 HD. <clears throat> it's the best tablet they've ever made. No, I haven't used that, that pen. Rotation sensitivity. Don't think I've used that. You picked up a copy of Framed Ink. It's a great book. I recommend it to everybody.
Ha, ah, there's a mirror behind me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah, I work in an office. My home is an office. There's people working all around me. Guy that looks just like me is my twin brother. My wife is always next next to me working too, but she stays hidden. Nobody can see her. It's so tiny on the screen. How do you guys see it? Are you guys full screen or something? I should get a cool green screen. <laughs> so it's just my head popping out. Or I could put myself in like Lothlorien or something. somewhere better.
Just the temperature shift. So the price for the book shot up? Is it out of print or something? Or is it just to ship it to your area is really expensive? Yeah, non-art related question is good. Those are my favorite. bedroom I mean if you could do like a one bedroom you could find some that are like maybe a thousand nah, probably about 1200 1300 at the cheapest and that's like the cheapest right um, and it can definitely go up from there two bedroom like 18, 19, well, 17 at the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest. That's like really cheap though. I would say average one bedroom is like 15, two bedroom is like two grand. Uh, that's a modest average even. <laughs> Some some are like three grand, I mean, you know, it just depends. Three grand a month. Northern California? San Francisco is your best bet. 
but uh, rent in San Francisco is more than LA, I would say. San Francisco is kind of ridiculous. My friends, I have some friends that lived in Russian Hill, San Francisco. It's pretty nice. It's like a touristy area, like really good location. And their apartment was like, no joke, like 200 square feet. It was, it was like a closet. They slept on a futon. It was like, it was really, really tiny. And that was 2000 a month. But it was literally a closet. <laughs> and not too much bigger than the my office room right here, where I'm sitting. But it was a good location. But San Francisco is ridiculous. I think for the like a the same size apartment in LA, like in San Francisco, it would be like instead of two thousand, be three thousand at least or four thousand. You might as well live in the East Bay or live in Emeryville or or something like that. Thy Carl Sagan. Things are stopping by anyways. It's expensive, but jobs tend to, even just any job, kind of, they tend to pay a little better in LA. I, I guess if you're, if you want to move to LA, there are cheaper areas that are, still aren't bad. Like Burbank, I think, is a little cheaper. Even, you know, Glendale. Uh, you might have to go a little farther up. Outside the city. And commute. Like, uh, yeah.
Yeah, you guys can camp out at my place. Not inside, but you can camp out around it if you want. L.A. Hustle. Yeah, I guess. I have some friends that, you know, they're they're artists, but they're like they're trying, and, and they work multiple jobs. They do whatever they can to pay that rent. <laughs> Well, I mean, these people, they're, like, they're not concept artists, per se, like graphic designers or people that are doing visual effects or film and stuff like that. I have a friend that does, does a lot of work for reality TV shows, because that's, like, that work is good and plenty out there, uh, where he's at, the kind of stuff that he does, so. But yeah, gotta pay that rent. Which reminds me, I gotta pay my rent. <laughs> it's the end of the month. Your retirement plan is a Walmart greeter. Oh, let's hope not, guys. I'm going to be old and senile. I'll be too crazy for that. losing my mind. And I'm barely 30 years old.
Yeah, life is about being happy. It's about, yeah, it's like... Uh, if you, the thing about work is like, if you spend too much time working to make money, but no time to enjoy that money and time, you know, that what money gets you, basically, then what's the point of working? So you gotta find that balance. I like to base, make a lot of decisions based on, not based on money, but based on, will this make me happy, yes or no? Not, will this make me money? And I think, I think li life is a lot better when you do that. Because then the real dream is making money off the thing that makes you happy. Yeah, a big, a big part of why I still enjoy it and I don't see it as just work is because I do things like this. I do a lot of personal work. You know, I have my own separate ambitions outside of work. Just doing the same routine all the time, so... I like to try to push myself in different ways, so... It keeps it interesting learn new skills. Streaming is not not something I'm doing to make big money. I'm not trying to squeeze money out of this. In fact, people probably think I'm crazy. They're like, you should sell tutorials or do a Patreon. 
Eh, yeah, maybe I should, maybe I still will, but... Eh. I like that anyone can get in here and anyone can watch these. Anyone can ask questions. It's free. It's stuff that I would, I mean, this is something that I would do anyways. Whether you guys were here or not, so might as well just share it. But it's not about making money. boy. Shadow of the Colossus. That means things are wrapping up. Thirty seconds, no ref pass. That's right. No, you know, I'm not trying to make you buy the season pass. It's not a bad idea, though. It's giving me some thoughts. Ninety nine ninety nine, best deal. Best deal. Wouldn't mind buying prints. I, I wouldn't mind selling you prints. <laughs> I just haven't set that up yet. I know like that's something a lot of people have asked me before. And I've gotta get on that. And there's some there's some gumroad stuff I wanna do and who knows, who knows? But I just need to find time. Do you guys, uh, do you, where do you go to buy prints then? If you want to buy prints from an artist, you just, do you just look at the store that they're selling from, or is there a, a, a go-to place, like, in print, uh, that you guys know about? I need to do some research on this, so, um, I'm wondering if you guys have any suggestions. Cause I, I do sell prints, but it's just only at show like conventions and shows. I pretty much a CTN. So if you guys are gonna be at CTN, I 
I will be there. Stickman Jeebus. This music sounds like religious music. Like hymnals. Good old Shadow of the Colossus. If I were to continue to stream on on Sundays like I wanted to do, I wanted to call it like the Sunday service art stream or something like that. Because <laughs> it would be Sunday morning and I would play music like this. But I haven't done that yet. I would share the gospel of art. Homage to the paint, painting art gods. Would that be my uh, uh, art history? Look at look at some old masters paintings. It'd be on Sunday. Right, I'm trying to speedy my way through this. The first one took longer than I wanted it to.
Chris Morris, what's up? picture of myself. Who we'll put that online? That could be the art challenge. Making memes. Get good. I like it. Meme me. I want to play Shadow of the Colossus again. Too bad the game is so hard to control. But I guess they're going to re-release it at some point. Or re redo it? Remake it? I don't know. HD-ify it? I just hope they fix the controls. The controls are terrible.
Yeah, it's a remake. Some Amish people. At least they don't have to remake the soundtrack, because it's still pretty good. If they change the music, that would be really disappointing. Good night, Sean. All right. Probably going to wrap this up. I could probably do a lot more. But I wanted them to stay under an hour. This one could use work. is really efficient. This one I kind of dilly-dallied a little bit. But we got there eventually. Do I paint every evening? Uh, definitely not on stream. You like the first one? That was the one you didn't like. Well, at first you didn't like it. But then you... But then I... Changed some things. And voila! 
I kind of want to make this focal point a little bit stronger. This one. Take down that roof a little bit. Should probably reflect the sky here. Go a little cooler. Yeah. Let's look at the Discord D. You guys did our challenge, right? All right. Indie game. fun. That's a cool little animation. <laughs> nice. Firewatch. Damn, that guy's got some muscles. That's cool. The animations from Zeb? Thank you. Thank you, Zeb. This is Sarayon doing the Firewatch fan art. That's pretty cool. And Zeb. A little bit more painterly, Zeb, here. Cool. Some military stuff. Cliffs of Dover. Octodad. No man's dad. <laughs> really cool. That's from Jeepster. Sean Paints. What you got here? Rhyme fan art. This isn't compressed. I opened to a new uh, new window here. Falling out of the sky. It's cool. Zen. Pretty lame. We'll try to rework. All right. Let's see. Terraria fan art. Interesting concept. I don't know if this one counts, right? Because it's not for this specifically. Seems like you were doing it for something else. Firewatch is good. I like that. It's kind of between... <laughs> no Man's Dad and Firewatch. <laughs> I'll have to go with the Firewatch one. Really good job. Sarayong. Good work. Damn, he's got some muscles. Good stuff, everybody. That's really cool. Really good stuff. I like Jesus a lot. Honorable mention. <laughs> no man's no man's dad.
Yay, awesome. <laughs> hey, on Kramer. All right, good job, everybody. That's going to do it. I'll see you all next week. The links of each of these locations are on the Discord if you want to see. And I'll try to remember to post them in the detail of the YouTube video so you guys can see it there, too. But that's it. See you all next week. Goodbye. Thanks for joining. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya.